Hello, and welcome to this two-minute tutorial on sorting your hero bar settings in WKO5. This short video will cover the following topics. Sizing, athlete filtering, set your performance manager metrics, set your performance manager alerts, and set your sport type for power duration curve. I will do this as a direct demo in WKO. So let's start out with the sizing factor. The sizing of the hero bar, uh, we get feedback that there's a fair amount of space in here. You actually can size it to be whatever you want. Just hover over the small line here and you could drag it all the way closed or you can drag it all the way open. So here you have large size. I started with medium, size it as you see fit. Athlete filtering is a pretty simple trick. You have an athlete here. If you click on the athlete name, like that, you'll see it highlights, so therefore you click on it, you'll get the athlete details. Here in tags, you can type a tag of anything um, in the tag zone. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm going to type the word test and hit enter. Now test is a tag. You access your athlete list by this little down arrow. You see here right now I have it to all athletes. If you, I had road, as you can see in my details, I've now added test. If I select test, I am, well, I have another test. I only have two athletes in that list of test. That's a great way to filter like current and closed athletes. A lot of times you have athletes that you've coached in the past that you don't coach now. My real WKO, I set them up between current and active. And I also divide them by sport type. You can use more than one filter great way to keep your uh, athlete list concise and short. Now when it comes to setting your performance man uh, manager metrics and so you have CTL, ATL, and TSB, you notice when you click over the numbers they light up. If anything that you see highlight or light up, click on it. Here you get your CTL preferences. I'm going to drag it up here. I can use set my CTL constant. I do typically use the recommended, the default 42 days. It tends to be a pretty good number unless the athlete's a little bit older. Um, but the reality is I set that right there. Um, so if you want to make it 45 or 48 or 38, whatever, that's where you would set it. Same with ATL, which I tend to change more. You can set alerts. So here you see my CTL, ATL, TSB are all black, gray, black, gray. But this one's yellow. That's because there's an alert set for ATL. Well, let me click on that one, drag that up here and show it. So basically it alerts if it's less than 10, if the ATL is less than 10 or more than 100. But it warns me if it's less than 20, but more than 90. So let's say I wanted to change the alert from alert, which will be red, a warn, which will be yellow. I want it to warn me if it's more than 95. So I'm just going to type 95 and close that. And you notice now, since 96 is higher, it has gone red. So that's how you set the alerts. Um, when it comes to setting your bike FTT, indoor FTP, all of the different FTPs, or your weight, you'll find that down here in the metrics. I have weight um, selected. Let's say I wanted to check my maximum bike heart rate. Um, I would simply, if I wanted to add a new one, hit the plus button double click on the heart rate, <coughs> oops, sorry, I clicked on the wrong button there, uh, and then just edit from there, 155, whatever the number is, I'm just kind of making that up, but you get the point. So that's how you would set your threshold and your weight metrics and everything in there. Finally, setting your sport type in the hero bar. Right now, we're dividing sport types by just in cycling. If you click on bike, you will get the options of road, mountain, or indoor. I'm going to switch it to road. Right now, your power duration curve metrics follow the sport type. There is a future upgrade coming that will include all bike metrics. This should get you up and running on the management of your hero bar. I usually use mine in that mid-range. As a final point, just to answer a question that I receive frequently, this small type here, this is the view you're using. If you want to change your view, you can simply go here and choose an existing view that will launch your library. That will be covered in a different video. Thank you.